Well, new research has discovered a common pattern when it comes to COVID-19 symptoms. Scientists at the University of Southern California found these symptoms tend to appear first and in a specific order. Joining us now to tell us more about this is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And good afternoon, Dr. Nandy. Always a pleasure to have you. Uh, Thanks, Linda. What is the order? That yeah, so yeah. Alan and Glenn, the study is very interesting. The USC scientists found that when many folks first start showing symptoms after being infected with the, the virus that causes COVID-19, they tend to appear in this order, fever, then cough and muscle pain, followed by nausea, and if they have it, vomiting and diarrhea. So, Doc, I have to ask you, is this that much different from the flu? And if so, could this information help people differentiate COVID-19 from other respiratory diseases? 100% on both those questions. So, you know, Alan, I hear many of my patients worrying about really how they'll be able to tell, right, if they picked up influenza or if it's COVID. So besides knowing that COVID-19 symptoms do have a common pattern when they first develop, the researchers also found that when it comes to influenza, coughing is usually the first symptom. Whereas fever, as I mentioned earlier, is the first symptom they saw with COVID-19. Also, adults rarely experience vomiting and diarrhea, right, when infected with the flu. And we're, according to this research, vomiting and diarrhea are more common with COVID-19. So knowing this could help someone decide whether to get tested, to self-isolate, or to help, to seek help, right, sooner than later. So how did researchers figure this out, Dr. Nandy, the conclusion they came to to get this order? So, Glenda, the USC researchers looked at two data sets of COVID-19 patients from China, and then uh, that combined total was over uh, 56,000 cases. And, and they also looked at over 2,400 cases of influenza of North America, Europe, and the Southern Hemisphere. And after crunching all that data, these people with big brains came up with this data. But it's important to keep in mind that this information should be used, what, as a guideline only because not everyone is going to develop the exact same symptoms. We know that. Having said that, I think knowing that there's a likely order uh, that, that you could, that have, having COVID-19 symptoms can be quite useful, especially for doctors. It could help them rule out other illnesses and decide whether someone likely has COVID-19 and what treatment, right, what treatment to recommend. But if someone, if you think that someone has it or you believe that you do, you should, you should seek testing right away, regardless of what symptoms came first or second, and definitely to seek help if your breathing is ever compromised. So we need to know this, this pattern. It's useful information, but if you're ever in doubt, get tested, get help. Thank you so much, Dr. Nandy. It's going My to pleasure. be quite the fall season. So. Oh, yes. All right, stay with 7 Action.